Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. So, in this video I'm going to be covering variables. So let's get on with it. Independent variable. This is the variable that is that the researcher manipulates and which is assumed to have a direct effect effect on the dependent variable. So basically the independent variables are also known as conditions in an experiment. Dependent variable. This is the variable that is affected by the changes in the independent variable or changes in the conditions. This is the variable that is measured in an experiment. So this is the variable that you need to know in order to compare the, the different conditions. Extraneous variable. This is any variable other than the independent variable that might affect the dependent variable. These could become confounding or confusing variables if not controlled. So this just basically means that um, you haven't controlled other variables uh, other than the independent variable. So for example, this could be um, when you're doing a lab experiment, which will come on to later, and the time of day, whether um, the weather, if that affects the results. For example, if it's raining, then they might not they might not concentrate as much as if it was sunny. They wouldn't be engaged as much. They'd have the weather effect on them. So that's an extraneous variable. And these should be um, controlled as much as possible to ensure that you have valid and reliable data. So let's move on. Independent and dependent variables, yeah? So this is how to find them out. So basically they might, um, in the exam, ask you a question and they might give an hypothesis. Basically, um, a person's stress level is increased when in a noisy environment. And then they might ask you to, it wouldn't be as simple as that, but it would be like a f um, fairly on the same, same, you know, same lines. So... They might ask you to find out what the independent variable is and the or the or the dependent variable. So in this, the independent variable is whether the environment is noisy or not. So um, there are the two conditions. One condition is um, noisy environment. The other is quiet environment. And then the dependent variable is obviously measuring the person's stress levels in each condition. So person's stress level in condition one and stress levels in condition two. This could and then these are this this these are used to compare the two data. So basically, there are two main types of extraneous variables. There is situational variables. This relates to the research situation. For example, um, the control of temperature. So is it hot? Is it cold? Is it mild? Light levels. So is it really bright in there? Is it really dim? And the time of day. So is it early in the morning? Is it later on in the evening? Is it midday? And there are participant variables. This relates to the differences in the research participants. For example, the ind for example, these are called also known as individual differences, um, such as age, intelligence levels, personality types, etc. And these are controlled through experimental design, which we will get into later. So, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and like for more.